Welcome to this Surfrace sponsored SharePoint search quick tip. Uh, today I'll be showing you how to create sites or search centers or document libraries within SharePoint and then how to add them to both the top navigation bar or the horizontal navigation bar within SharePoint. Uh, for more quick tips or webinars or information on how we might be able to help you improve your SharePoint search experience, uh, please make sure to check out our website at surfray.com. You can see that down at the bottom right of the screen. So here's a test environment for SharePoint 2010 and as we uh, mentioned the first thing that we want to be able to do is create a new page or site or um, a document library within SharePoint. So that's really easy to do. All you have to do, uh, assuming you have the right permissions, is go up to Site Actions here and create new page, new document library, or new site. In this case, I'm just going to create a search center arbitrarily. If we create a new site and click on that option here, I have uh, various different site templates that have already been put together, and these are just various different collections of web parts. In fact, I could build these out manually if I created a blank site and added in web parts. Let's just create a new enterprise search center. And just for sake uh, to be able to track this, I'll call this test, and this will be the, the display name that, that it's displayed up at the top of my site to my users. I can also enter in a URL, or have to enter in a URL. This can a lot of times be a much more abbreviated term. Maybe you want to use an acronym here, but you actually want to type out the entire name of the site right up top here. That way it's easier to uh, write in the URL for later on, but it's also easy to, to recognize. I wouldn't recommend usually using acronyms right up at the, the name of the site unless it's very, very well known within your organization. So at this point I'll click Create, and it's going to create my new uh, test search center. And I'm not going to play around with this a whole lot. It's just pretty straightforward. It's created a new search center for me. Well, notice my URL. It does have test within the name, and that's going to actually matter to us uh, here in a bit of, in a second. But I've created this new site. It's really that easy. Just site actions, and then create new page or new document library, new site. It's a pretty sim uh, easy concept. The next thing that I want to be able to do is actually expose that for use in my uh, user experience within the navigation. You'll notice that I already have drop downs that I've created in the navigation for examples, and this links to various different in areas of my environment. I have one for standard search and one for ontologous search. And again, these are linking to different pages. So I want to create a new drop down. We'll just call it, uh, in this case, uh, uh, general search. Uh, and we'll link in a couple different sites there. The other thing I want to be able to do is link that into my side navigation. This is where you would usually put your document libraries, but you can also put links to particular pages and sites. So you have two different flexibility options. Uh, one would be the drop downs here within your navigation, and the other one would be, be the side navigation. Generally this is kept standard throughout your entire uh, site collection. And these become dynamic. As you drill down into your site collection, you could set these to change for your user. So what we'll do is actually if I refresh this page with the current settings, it would actually show my test site and my uh, document library right there. But most environments, that's not set up. It, you actually have to manually add that. So let's do exactly that. We'll go to Site Actions, Site Settings. Make sure that you are at the top level of your navigation if that's where you want to make your settings. Uh, I see people do that all the time. Make sure you also have proper permissions if you want to make these settings. And we'll go to look and feel and navigation. There's a couple things I do want to point out here. By default, your environment probably has this box checked right here. So if your parent site has not been set up to automatically um, add these new sites and these new pages to your site, you're not going to have them automatically added. So you do need to make sure that you check this. You also need to make sure that if you want to display subsites and pages that you have that um, checked. If you didn't have that checked, those would disappear. So just double check those. The other thing you want to do is make sure, usually unless you have a huge amount of document libraries that will be displayed, you probably want to sort them manually. That way you can control the look and feel of your environment. As we go into navigation, you'll notice my entire hierarchy that I've built out. We saw that I have an examples tab, a search uh, uh, standard search tab and an ontologous search tab. We'll also notice that my new subsite was automatically added to this. So that's where I was talking about. If I refresh that page, that would have automatically displayed. 
I might not want that to occur in my particular site. Maybe I want to make a new drop-down heading on my navigation, and I can do that really easily. This global navigation section right here are, is my top navigation, and then current navigation down here is my side navigation. So we see the difference between top navigation and side navigation. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to create a new heading. I want to make one called just general search. And I'm not going to put a URL for it because when I click on that heading, I don't, I don't want to actually allow anybody to click on that heading. And then under this, I want to create a couple links to different areas of my environment. What I'm going to do first off is I'm going to move down test. Notice when I click that, I just clicked move down. And now it moved it under this heading of general search. The other thing that I want to do is create another link. We notice that I already have, say, an Ontolica search and preview link right here. I don't want to move that out of here. I want it to be able to be accessible in both areas. But we want to add another one for Ontolica search and preview underneath this. So I'll just title that. And when I'm adding this new link, I could either manually type in that link uh, for this site. I believe it would be something like Ontolica Search is what I titled it when I created it. Notice that this is not the entire URL, though. Uh, it's not copying the entire demo 10.development.surfray. It just needs to be this backslash Ontolica Search. If I don't remember that, uh, then all I have to do is click on Browse, and I'll see the entire configuration of my site collection right here. And I can then choose at that point. I can just say, OK, this is exactly really what I wanted. You notice it jumped me straight to that because it recognized the name. But I can click on that. And now that'll throw that in. I can give it a description. I can set ha what happens when I click on it, if I want to open it in a new window and not navigate away from where I'm at. I can even set this so that only particular people or particular audiences or particular departments see that particular link. Maybe it's a link that only my finance team should see or only my HR team should see. I'm not going to bother with that right now. I'll just click OK, and you'll notice now under General Search, I should uh, see a link for both my Test Search Center and my Ontolica Search Center. The same exact rules apply if I want to work with side navigation. All I have to do is go to Current Navigation. I can add a link. I can move my site around. Uh, but the, uh, there's no difference when I'm, when I'm adding those. At this point, let's say OK, and let's just look at what we've produced then. I'll go back to my standard site, and I do need to refresh that page. And now I've created a nice little general search dropdown. I have a link to my test search center that we created. And I have a link to my Ontolica search center. And then finally, on the left-hand side, I have a link to my test search center again. This you can order in different ways. You could move these around. It's all very really easy in that navigation UI, but um, that's all there is to it. Just go to Site Actions, create your page, and Site Actions, Site Settings, and then Navigation Settings, and you can uh, configure your site so that your users are presented with a nice user experience to jump straight to content. And with that, I'll conclude the Surfray sponsored uh, quick tip for this week on creating sites and adding them to navigation. I encourage you uh, to check out Surfray.com for more webinars. You'll find them under the Resources tab there. And also check back uh, once a month for the new quick tip that we post under our tech blog. Again, they're on the Resources tab of Surfray.com. Uh, thanks for watching.